Hey, have you ever have to hatch your areas picking individual points? Yes, me too. So here is why today we're going to create a custom tool that is going to help us close any open areas so we can hatch them all at once. All right, so that's what we're going to do today. But before, let me go to the chat and say hi to you ask you how are you doing where are you connecting from and kind of talk uh, a little bit before we start today's live stream while you let me know in the chat how are you doing where are you from um, i'm gonna be mention a couple of things so the first thing is um, that of course uh, for people who don't know me uh, let me introduce myself my name is irvin and this is the Lazy Architecto channel, where we create custom tools to, of course, save you time, like the one we're going to create today, right? So, yeah. Um, so, if your time is important, consider subscribing, joining us each Sunday, because we do these live shows uh, every Sunday around 10 a.m., and that is uh, the United States, Pennsylvania time, all right? So that's the first thing I quickly want to mention before I start reading some of your comments, before I start with the live stream uh, for today. And we already have a couple of people connected. That's awesome. So the second thing I want to mention is that uh, I want to... Uh, we have a new Patreon. Yes. So I want to say thank you to Douglas Mikkel for joining us as a new patron this week. I'm very happy because more and more people are joining us. Um, so, and since we are here, uh, let me thanks to everybody, right? To all of these people that support my work, either on Patreon or either as a YouTube member. Thank you very much. So that's the second thing I wanted to mention. And let's keep uh, now start reading some of your comments before we jump to create this awesome tool that is going to help us um, close these areas so we can hatch quickly and we don't waste time. All right. So uh, let's see. We have comments on the chat. Let me know where are you guys connecting from. We have Dominic on the chat. Hi, Dominic. Uh, thank you for being here with us today. Uh, you became a member also, I can see by the, by the icon on your screen. Thank you very much for uh, kind of believing on what, what we do, right? Which is find different ways to help you uh, save some time in AutoCAD. So thank you, Dominic. Says hello. Glad to be back. Awesome, Dominic. Um, so we are glad to have you too. So... Um, Thank you. We have five people connected already. That's awesome uh, that you guys are here with me today. Uh, before we're going to create this awesome, again, tool or command or lazy command. That's how I call it, right? Because this is a lazy show. Um, I think we are ready to start. As always, you can interrupt me at any time during my presentation, right? Because I want to make this very interactive, uh, kind of make it more um, enjoyable, right, for you. So let's just start. Okay. So I'm going to undo what I just did with Control C. Um, so a brief explanation is that I want to hatch, of course, um, all of these. Uh, areas in red. So now, um, but before we continue, we have another comment on the chat says uh, Peral Cruz says, thanks for everything. Um, thank you. Thank to you for being here today. I think you are new, right, to the show because I don't remember that I haven't seen you before, but that's awesome that either YouTube or Facebook are recommending our live shows to more people, right? So that's awesome. I'm very excited for that. Thank you for being here, Pedro Cruz. If you can tell us your real name, that would be even better. So let's keep moving. All right. So 
Okay, so we wanted to hatch these uh, areas in red. However, uh, you already know that hatching by picking uh, internal points is already a complete waste of time, right? We already know that. Um, so, but there is another method, right, that we might use, which is uh, using the hatch command with the H shortcut and selecting uh, objects, right? With the option select objects, we could select them all and uh, try to hatch them like this, right? Uh, but you can see that once we press enter to accept that, we have um, some areas that haven't been hatched. And why is that, right? Um, so if we can inspect this really quick, we can see that some of these areas are not close. But this one, the one that was hatched, is actually close with four different red lines. So that's a problem because we will have to waste time picking each internal point to hatch, which is a waste of time. Luckily for us, uh, I had this problem and I started creating a custom tool that can help us close all of these different areas so we can hatch quickly. And the way I did it is by opening my tool palettes with control three right that's the shortcut to open your tool palettes so over here i created a new tool by adding a text a piece of text from my drawing and simply left clicking on it and dragging it to the tool palette like so so that was the first step i did right but after this i right click on it and click the properties option over here i renamed my command in this case I call it lazy cap because this will help us again to kind of cap or close these open areas, right? So then I proceeded to, of course, uh, add a description. And a description would be something like the lazy cap command close openings in open enclosures formed by lines or polylines, making them a single join item. All right, so after that, the final step was to change or tweak the command string over here under the command string option. So um, the code that I end up with was the following, which is already posted in our uh, Patreon or YouTube post, community post, and is, I'm gonna copy and from my other screen and paste it over here. And to briefly explain here, what I'm trying to achieve here is, before I go with the explanation, let me uh, we read one of our community comments is, Pedal Cruz says, my name is Sanka. I'm from Sri, from Sri Lanka and I'm, I work as a dra draftsman. And your channel really helped me to a lot to improve my AutoCAD knowledge. I'm following your future channel. Hey, thank you, Sanka, for giving us first your real name. That way we can interact with you in, in a better way. So, and you are a drafter, so that's awesome. This is your channel. If you are with AutoCAD, we are all about creating different ways to save you time. So thank you for letting us know, uh, Sanka. So let's keep moving to wrap this up. So a brief it a brief description is um, that we have uh, two CCs to stop any running command at the moment. And then we're going to use the P edit command, right? With the option to uh, multiple. So that would be for M. And then we're using two slashes that represents the user selection on your screen. Yes, to uh, join all of the polylines and J of course to join. Zero would be the fast value and C would be too close. So we have another comment on the chat is Dominic. Dominic says at the end of the video, can you perhaps show where to find the community content on, you, on your YouTube? Sure, um, Dominic. So I'll show you by the end of course of our presentation. That's a great question. Dominic, thank you for asking that out. 
So let's keep moving. So now what this piece of code will help us is, so after I click OK, so now whenever we have a open area like the ones that I mentioned, I could simply go to my new command, lazy cap, and let's test it, right? All I needed to do was click on it and follow the instructions to select objects. I will simply have to select all of my objects like so, and boom, you can see how it was automatically closed all of the areas as you can see. So that way, this means that I can immediately use the hatch command and of course, hatch all of my objects at once like so. Isn't that great guys? What do you think? Let me know in the comments because this is today's lazy command that I wanted to share with you. And again, we create all of these uh, lazy commands. We have probably like more than 20 already if you want to check them out on the video. So yeah, what do you think about this new command that we just created that will help us to hatch areas quickly, right? So let me know in the chat. Uh, so I want to, uh, read some of your comments before we wrap up today's live stream. So that's the command I wanted to share with you, the lazy cup, and it's there for you. We have a comment in the chat, it's SMA. Say hi, how are you? SMA, uh, let me know, uh, you can give me your real name, that would be awesome because that way I can interact with you in a better way, right? So by the way, my name is Irving, for people who just arrived to the show or are new, so my real name is Irwin, so SMA, uh, so SMA says, please, I need to know how to make shop drawings, please make videos. So thank you for that recommendation. Again, SMA, give me your real name because I feel a little, uh, you know, weird talking to SMA, <laughs> but uh, that's a great recommendation, shop drawings sure we can um try to do that maybe on the lazy question show right if people don't know we just released a new live show called the lazy question so where i randomly pick a question from any of your comments right on any of our videos and i answer you in a live show so yeah the shop drawings uh of course if it got picked i'll do uh, quickly a live stream. That's awesome. For, thank you for your recommendation. Uh, Pedro Cruz, uh, which, which his name is Sanka. Sanka is saying, it was really good tip. Thank you, brother. Uh, yes, uh, Sanka, I'm glad you found it useful. I really use it all the time also because I don't want to hatch uh, picking individual points ever, right? You shouldn't do that too. It's a waste of time. And there are more efficient ways like the one we shared today, how we could use the lazy cap command to close all of your areas. And this works with lines and polylines, of course, right? So um, let me go over here and read a couple more of your comments before we wrap up uh, today's uh, live show. So uh, I have another comment on the chat and is my friend uh, SMA again says myself Said Mahir Ali from India. Uh, SMA is my shortcut. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for giving me your real name. Uh, again, my name is Irvin for people who maybe just arrived to, this, to the show. We have six people connected. That's great that you uh, stick up with me for the whole show. Uh, and so your name is Mahir or Ali. I think Ali, that's uh, easier for me to remember. Ali, thank you for giving us your real name. And hopefully we can see you on our future live streams. The next one is going to be this Sunday at 10 a.m. Again, that's U.S. or United States and Pennsylvania at time. So um, Dominic just uh, remind me about showing where are those um, commands, right? To um, So my members, uh, people don't know, Dominic is a 
YouTube member of our show. So uh, let me give me one second, Dominic. I'm trying to do it here. Okay. So this is the channel, right? The Lazy Architecto channel. And to answer your question, which was over here, Dominic, you were asking me at the end of the video, can you perhaps show where to find the community content on your YouTube? Yes. So let me show you right now, Dominic. So um, let me hide this. And so if you go to our YouTube channel, um, so we have this. If you are a YouTube member, right? you will have available this new tab called membership. So you will click on it and then you will have uh, the option to find our lazy commands. For instance, uh, we did create the lazy library command a couple of weeks, two weeks ago. And so if you expand that out, you can see how you can copy and paste this. So you simply copy again this like so copy and of course go to your Oruka and you can paste it there quickly and easy right because if you are supporting my work I want to simplify your life I, right that's the whole goal of the channel so Dominic I hope that answer your question and um, so we have plenty of commands blogs and so on so just uh, let me know hopefully that will answer your question Dominic thank you for being a member again um, so we have, um, I think, another comment from Dominic Van der... Dominic, again, is asking, do you have a list of all of your custom commands? Uh, Dominic, right now, at this moment, uh, I don't have a list with all of them, but I'm planning to have that list in the future. Uh, however, all of my commands, uh, again, are on the community or membership tab where I just show you. So you can grab there, find the command that you need, and simply copy and paste. Hope I answered your question, my friend Dominic. So do we have any more questions for today before we wrap up today's live stream? If not... Uh, I will uh, stop here and start thinking on our next uh, live stream for Sunday. And of course, I will go to uh, uh, take breakfast because I'm very hungry. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thank you for uh, being here with me and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.